Good morning, Georgia. I'm at one of the big box stores today because uh, I got a couple of projects that I'm going to be working on. I got these really nice uh, large concrete planters off of Marketplace for a steel. And so I'm going to whitewash them to go with the theme that I'm trying to carry this year for my garden. And then a decision that I had made in regards to um, our fence. We currently have a uh, fenced in backyard that it is that cedar color. And because of the direction that I wanna take my garden this year, I'm actually going to stain it a slate color. I thought with my hydrangeas, the roses, the different perennials that I have, having that slate backdrop will make the flowers just pop. So let me go in here and spend some money, get the things that I need, and I will post my projects today. Okay, so the weather hasn't um, warmed up yet, but it is supposed to later on today. So I'm actually going to work on the pot that I, like I said, I picked up off of Marketplace for a steal. And I'm going to whitewash it. So I'm going to end up using the Craylon whitewash. I got my two dry brushes because I don't want it painted. I just want the white to sort of uh, use as a bleed through on the the pots. All right, so I've got these, get this nice and shook. Let me make sure. And then that way we can go ahead and start spoosing this up a little bit. I'm not gonna put it on. I'm trying not to put it on heavy. So at least some of the pink will come through just to clean this up. I have it looking nice. Like I said, to go with the current direction that I am going with my garden. You know, and it's like, like I said, you know, when you end up finding stuff, you know, on Marketplace, you're not paying a lot for it, but you repurpose it and make it your own to fit the direction that you want your, your garden to go. So this is actually covering that pretty nicely. Like I said, I got four of them. I haven't quite decided yet which plants I'm going to be putting in here. Whoops. Well, like I said, just give it a, a fresh look. It wouldn't be bad if it was more of a terracotta instead of the pink. And I like these brushes because they don't hold hold a lot of paint to where you can go in and, you know, thin it out. And then I was thinking about spray painting them, but like I said, I think by spray painting, you lose that texture that the pots have. And I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna lose that by using a spray paint. I think this is gonna look really sharp with the, layout of layout of my garden and, and like i said i got four of these so it's really gonna stand out once i uh decide what plants i'm gonna put in here definitely make sure nice and colorful and then this is the thing too as far as keeping with the um texture you know, don't want to go in the wrong direction. I think that's how you end up losing um, 
that look of being able to capture the character of the pot. And then I think I'm just gonna do the, the lip of the inside because, you know, you may not end up filling this all the way up and I want that consistent look on the pot. And I just think it just makes it have a more manicured look to it. I'm not gonna worry about where the dirt is going to be filling in on this. It'll just look nicer having that lip that more than likely will be exposed because like I said, I'm not gonna fill the container all the way up. Yeah, just to make that have a very nice finish to it. I think just do this last side here. Well, this is like a real easy project. And like I said, uh, because the weather is not conducive to me outside, at least for me to be um, starting on uh, staining the fence. So I use my time to get these types of things done that I can, you know, do within, do inside the, the garage and pretty much have it protected. Okay, that is one down. Let's take a look at this. That looks so nice. And like I said, these are, these are huge containers. Yeah, that's gonna look so very nice with the direction that I am going. Like I said, that's one down, three more to go. Here are the finished pots. Don't they look amazing? I am so excited about filling them up. Okay, so I'm going to start uh, staining the fence. I'm gonna get my husband <clears throat> to take down my window boxes so that when I start using the sprayer, I can just keep on moving. So we got all of the window boxes down. I'm going to go ahead and start spraying. ahead and get the fill up for this to make this to make this easy instead of having to lug a uh, five gallon bucket I fill these guys up and then it just makes it a whole lot easier for me to um, fill up the uh, sprayer
fill up again. And as you can see, using the air sprayer makes it go so much faster. I'm not gonna keep on filling up, having to stop the camera while I get this done. Two weeks later, Good afternoon and welcome to Inspiring Garden Corners. I'm Deborah and today I want to present the finished project of us staining our fence. Um, it's actually uh, drizzling outside today so that's why I am recording inside. Um, but it looks amazing and just validate that I made the right choice in staining our fence that slate color. Um, I have positioned white pots throughout the flower bed that just pops. We had our our window boxes that were initially the boxes were that cedar color. We painted those white and it just makes them stand out so much better. And then once I put in additional flowers in those boxes, it's going to look amazing. I am so happy we ended up making that decision to go with the slate color, especially with the direction that I am wanting to go with my garden this year. So enjoy the photos that I'm going to showcase so you too can see that the combination is going to look amazing. And thank you again for taking this journey with me. Enjoy. 